There are new accusations today of pay-to-play scandals rocking the Clinton campaign, an investigation that reveals new details of a possible influence peddling in the aftermath of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, which we all remember very well. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. The Haiti earthquake, a devastating tragedy, but also a very lucrative opportunity for companies from all over the world to grab the billions that were pledged for rebuilding. Now, according to our next report, Bill and Hillary Clinton were the gatekeepers in Haiti at the time. A Fox News special on all of this airs tonight, anchored by Brett Baer, and he joins us now. Good morning, Brett. Martha and Bill, good morning. As we told you, uh, we've been working on this for quite some time, and this is based on this new book, Clinton Cash, by Peter Schweitzer. Uh, we had the exclusive interview with him. We saw yesterday the piece that we aired here about Kazakhstan and the uranium deal, and you've been talking about that. There are many more pieces of this puzzle that it takes a while to unwind. It spans the globe. This latest piece, as you pointed out, has to do with Haiti. January 12, 2010. Haiti suffers a devastating 7.0 earthquake. The epicenter is about 15 miles west of its most populous city, Port-au-Prince. More than 200,000 die, and over 100,000 buildings and homes are destroyed. Within four days, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton arrives to survey the damage. I want to assure the people of Haiti that the United States is a friend, a partner, and a supporter. Two days later, former President Clinton was on the ground. I hope that it will be rebuilt in, in a much stronger and more sustainable way, and I think the Haitians want that. Bill Clinton had previously been named U.N. Special Envoy for Haiti. He and Hillary had close ties with the country even honeymooning there. Hillary's State Department, working with USAID, the United States Agency for International Development, would oversee America's relief effort. The government of Haiti set up the IHRC, Interim Haiti Recovery Commission, to coordinate. Two men were named co-chairs of the IHRC Executive Committee, Haitian Prime Minister John Max Bellarive and Bill Clinton himself. The idea was to not just fix things, but improve them. In an interview with Esquire, President Clinton had big plans, saying, quote, wouldn't it be great if they became the first wireless nation in the world? They could. I'm telling you, they really could. But it wasn't at all clear that the people of Haiti would be the big winners in the disaster relief gold rush. Anytime there is a natural disaster 